morning everybody and thank you for joining me Krista with Imagine That Scrapbooks and Gifts for ITTV Presents week number eight. Hard to believe we're already on week number eight but we're super excited. In today's online mini class we are going to be doing this really cute card using the We Are Memory Keepers Sew Ribbon Template. This one right here. There are six different templates and the one that we're using today is the Weave. But before we get started I get to pick a winner from ITTV Presents week number seven which was last week's and how you can be entered in to win a prize is comment on this week's video and then your name will go in next week for a random drawing. So the winner of this week's ITTV Presents is Miss Debbie Galliano. If you'll please email us at imaginethatscrapbooks at yahoo.com to claim your prize. We'll make sure you get a great one. Alright and let's get started on making this card. Okay, so for today's card, we're going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers Sew Ribbon Template to do this really neat ribbon technique on this card. The Sew Ribbon Templates, there's actually six different ones, and the one we're using today is the Weave Template. Uh, each one of the templates is color coordinated, so you know which tool and which little piercer you're going to need. What this is, is two different pieces that are magnetic, so it'll stay in place as you're doing your project but then you're just going to take the little piercer and pierce it through both pieces to do the template for you. So we have a piece of yellow here and this is actually what it'll do to uh, your piece of paper, not the edges here, just that part right here. We're going to be doing this with a double edge punch. So we're going to open up our template, place our paper in between, and then let the magnets catch it. Okay, then you're going to play with where you want your placement and I want it to kind of be in between so you can see this one here and this one here. So I want to make sure my paper is lined up. And then I'm going to take my template. Now uh, your piercing tool, it's whatever way works easiest for you. Some go back and forth to make sure they hit all of them. Uh, sometimes just depending on my mood I like to go all the same direction and then go back the opposite. Really doesn't matter, just do what works best for you. Then you're going to pop it through just like that. You can hear that it is punching those holes for me. Now you can go through multiple pieces of paper. Of course, the more papers you have in between, the more pressure you're going to need to apply to get the tool all the way through. Uh, I think the max that I have done was actually in a sample you'll see at the end of this video. I think I went through five pieces of paper and of course adhesive all the way through. Okay, so there we have our template. Now I'm going to be using one of my favorite um, two edge punches by We Are Memory Keepers and that's the doily. I just really love the doily look on any project. So this one is a two edge punch because you can use it two ways. One, just as a border or two, as a strip. So we're going to be doing it as the edge border like this one here. So we're going to put it in there, line it up to our edge and push. And then you're going to line it up with your template on the edge here and you're going to go all the way to the end. Now I'm a little OCD and want mine to match so I'm actually going to flip it over and run it the exact same way so that my doily looks identical on both sides. <clears throat> okay. And there we have the piece that we're going to be using on our card. So what I have here is a piece of regular grow grain ribbon. You can use all sorts of different ribbons. Uh, again, watch for that at the end of the video. We have some, oh lord, uh, velvety ribbon, uh, see-through ribbon, all sorts of different ones at the end. So definitely watch for those. So what we're going to do here is I've put our ribbon needle on it, which is just an adhesive plastic piece that you can sandwich into your ribbon then you're going to start sewing it through. Now what I like to do is pull it all the way through like that, grab a zot, and that's what I like to hold my ribbon down in place with. Okay, now you're just going to stitch your entire design. Okay. 
Now don't forget, uh, I did mention that we will have a coupon code and the coupon code available for this particular week's ITTV is so ribbon, S-E-W, ribbon, R-I-B-B-O-N. You can use that code online to get 10% off of any of the so ribbon templates or use it in store. So make sure you use your coupon code so ribbon. The coupon will be good until next week's ITTV comes out. All right, so now we've finished up our ribbon there. I'm gonna cut it off. Now you can reuse those needles. I've used them several times, probably five or six uh, for sure. All you're gonna do is peel them apart and then reuse them. So there we have our ribbon stitching. So now we're going to construct our card. The templates allow you to put the piercing tool right in there so you can store it just like that and have your pieces all together. Okay. So let's put our adhesive down. This is a fun line by Echo Park. I love the bright colors. Okay. And then where I put my ribbon was actually just like that over the seam. I want to make sure I have lots of adhesive on this since we're going to be gluing down the bulk of that ribbon. Okay, then we have a little ribbon bow here that we've made and what we're going to do is notch off the edges. What I do is fold it in half, take a good pair of scissors like the Cutter Bees or the Tim Holtz Tonics, and we're going to V-cut it. You're going to go from the fold out to the edge. Okay, now we're going to place a zot onto the back of our bow. Stick that little guy right there. And then a fun little added piece I always like to use is stick pins. So we're gonna just slide this right behind and I'm actually gonna go down the ribbon behind, so it's actually behind this whole piece of paper so it doesn't stick out in the card. Okay, now we're gonna add just a few little bling because I like putting bling. And there you go, a fun card using the We Are Memory Keepers Sew Ribbon Template Weave. We'll make sure you watch for the end of the video with great samples as well as products used and card dimensions. And we'll see you next week.